IGN is inherently a competitive place. We definitely get competitive when we're playing against each other. I'm pretty damn good at a side scroller if I do say so myself. When we found out a Diablo coming to Switch, we kind of started this like quiet, low key, I bet I can get further than you faster. Let's see which of us can level the highest within 24 hours. And that conversation kind of bubbled up and became a full on challenge, which is now a war. It's ultimately about not only being the best person here, but about putting down the people who are trying to be better than me. This competition is special because it's really about the fans. And one specific fan, a very, very lucky one, is going to win the Diablo 3 Special Edition Nintendo Switch. If you have like a Diablo 3 Collector's Edition Switch, I mean, that's just epic. I hope I can uh, win it and uh, be able to give it away to one of my lucky fans. Damon is really, really nice, but it's like, I know deep down he wants to win. Brian is a hardcore Nintendo fan, but I don't know if he's ever played Diablo 3, and I have played a lot of Diablo 3. Jackie and Damon both beat me in being significantly more uh, attractive. Brian is like 100% fire. Like, I know he's like gonna go for this like 100%. Jackie, she's like on volleyball teams and like probably swims competitively against sharks. She's crazy. I'm terrified of her. So my strategy going into this competition was to crush and destroy my opponents. The problem with strategy when you're the father of a newborn, it all goes out the window the second you try to do anything. So with me playing Diablo 3 on Switch, I was like, okay, at the very least, I can bring this anywhere. If she falls asleep, I'll get some time in here and there. So I woke up at 4.30 in the morning. I'm ridiculously tired. I make coffee and I'm playing Diablo. And then I put some breakfast together and I'm playing Diablo. And then I'm like, this is going great. I think I spent like half of my 24 hours trying to pick out which character I wanted. You know what I mean? Like I was like, okay, you gotta get this going, Jackie. Like you gotta pick someone. So I hit the ground running in the IGN office. I picked a Crusader class this time. I hadn't played the Crusader before. And she has this really cool ability to blind enemies. Yeah. So I would rush into a big group of monsters, blind them all. And then when they couldn't even see me, they didn't even know what to hit them. I would just mow them all down. I get on the train and I go to work at IGN, which is one of the few jobs where you can actually get away with playing video games at work. Like if I was an air traffic controller and I was leveling up in Switch, you'd be like, that's not a great idea. Then I just like immediately went to the grocery store. I don't know which one to pick. Barbarian, Crusader, Necromancer. I had to get stuff done and this is like a 24 hour challenge. And I was like, you know what? I can bring Diablo 3 to the grocery store. So I'm gonna do it. I probably made some people really mad at the grocery store. I might have caused some traffic jams and I think I hit a shelf. Besides that, it was awesome. At one point, I needed to just seek refuge in our game library. It was getting a little too loud. There were too many distractions in the IGN office, so I took a little time out and uh, did some leveling. And then I had to go pump gas. Pumping gas kind of takes a while, so perfect time to break out the Switch again. Then after that, I get out of work, head back home, where I can pretty much play as much as I can as long as my daughter lets me without being like a negligent parent and having child services called on me. I would be like, all right, I'm, I'm on this boss fight and things are going really well. He's got a little bit of health left. And then boom, kicks my elbow. I hit the wrong button and I get killed, I gotta do the whole thing over. Oh. I took a cab home from the office that night, so I kept playing. Continued playing as much as I could over the evening. I kept playing in bed, stayed awake as long as I could. And then I just uh, went to bed. You know, like I, I did a lot of like, just chilling out, playing like around the house. Woke up breakfast, coffee, all that all over again, and 24 hours had been completed. Coming into the office this morning was kind of scary because I don't really know what to expect from my competitors. Feel pretty confident at uh, where I ended up level-wise. I killed a whole lot of monsters. I was able to dedicate myself fully to just leveling in Diablo 3. Confidence level zero performance level zero because I fell asleep and I'm like, this is like gonna be awful. Okay, wizard level 25. Crusader level 23. Wizard level 30. Wow. Ah, yes. Nice He's work everyone, nice work. We did good, we did good, yeah. we did our best. Yeah, you guys did team. really well, but not well enough and thank you for competing. Come more powerful. 
Diablo 3 on Switch is pretty much a perfect experience. With Nintendo Switch, it's really made it a lot easier for me to play video games as a new father. Well, unfortunately, I did not win the challenge. Brian did. Made even more impressive that he also has to keep a human being alive. Brian has a baby, so I really don't have any excuse. <laughs> like, I shouldn't have lost. <laughs> I have a baby, what is your excuse? Brian, you won fair and square. Congratulations. I crushed you guys. God, that feels good. Want to get your hands on this limited edition Diablo 3 Eternal Collection Nintendo Switch? Well, follow me on Twitter to find out how.